Sankalp is a festival of classical Indian music and dance, and it's a labor of love for the renowned South African Kathak exponent, Manesh Maharaj. We met up with Manesh at the event to find out more about his inspiration and dedication. Presented by the Color Darshan organization, the Sankalp Festival is now in its second year of showcasing the classical performing arts. Mela's Indian classical dance lovers have much to look forward to today. I'm about to attend an amazing festival with an exciting lineup of phenomenal performers, the Sun Kalp Festival. It's presented by one of South Africa's leading art organizations that provides education and development opportunities for artists around South Africa. Sri Manesh Maraj is not only a leading Kathak performer, but also a guru in his own right. Tell me about your vision for the festival. Sankalp is basically my vow, a resolution, to present art uh, the best way I can. The word Sankalp itself is a Sanskrit term, which means a solemn vow to uphold what you believe in um, and what your purpose is with the highest truth. Before you start dancing, you do a very special prayer. Yes, Kriya. The prayer is basically called a Bhumi Pranam or Namaskar. Bhumi literally means Mother Earth. She's very sacred to us. So before we dance and stamp our feet on her, um, we take her blessings because she's already absorbing, absorbing so much of negativity. So we're going to learn that. Great, thanks. We take our position where the feet are in the shape of a V. Mm -hmm. And our hands, we place our hands flat, thumbs in, uh -huh. curl your index finger around the thumb and place it here. So the body is shaped already as an arrow striving to the heavens. Okay. So you become a medium between the two planes, the spiritual and the material. So we're going to extend our right hand 45 degrees to the right and we take a step. Then to the left, the same thing. What we're going to do now is welcome the audience who's come to watch us. Uh -huh. So we place our hands in front with the right leg pointed, open it out, look at your audience. After that, we touch the Bhumi, which is Mother Earth. Then we touch our eyes to get her respect. Take our hands to a full namaskar over your head. This is the salutation. Bring it down to your heart and stamp the right foot. And we're ready to go. It is absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is. It just sets the tone for what lies ahead. The festival adopts an holistic approach to the performing arts, with the vocalists and musicians who later accompany the dancers getting an opportunity to demonstrate their own dedication and artistry. Gestures and facial expressions are used to add sentiment, emotion and mood to the underlying narrative portrayed by the dance. Indian culture is very rich. How do we go about preserving it? I think the best way to do that um, will be to pass this on to the next generation. Personally, opening an institute, I feel, is an excellent way to do that. Having the younger generation come, learn the art form, and then pass the rich cultural heritage onto them so that they take it forward. I'm very excited to see you perform tonight. What are you going to be performing? So the first part of the Tal is symbolic of Shiva, the male aspect, and his vigorous dance form, known as Tandav. And the second aspect is more the feminine grace of Mother Parvati and her beautiful, graceful dance known as Lasya. So that uh, element of um, expression is brought into something very abstract, a tal. <laughs> Let's 
We hope that whatever we presented enters this society so that we all are able to live in harmony and unity.